All right, we're gonna take this brushless screwdriver and make it fit on this OMG AccuTrack machine. Usually we have to use the electric corded ones, but we're gonna modify this so it fits into this machine. So on the electric gun, it's about 16 or 1.613. That's what size it needs to be. And the reason it doesn't fit out of the box is because it's 1.694. They vary in size, but that's roughly mm -hmm. the average size. Now to get this apart, we put it in the vise and it's left-handed screw. So you gotta use a pair of channel locks, undo that. And we got this little metal insert. Get a pair of needle nose pliers. Should come right out like that. Now you have your screw adapter piece that we need to modify to make it fit. So first we're gonna come over to the bench grinder. Make sure you got gloves on and safety glasses. And we're just gonna grind off the main portion, you know, the bigger material off before we fine tune it on the drill press. So here, turn that on. The trick is you gotta keep it round. So throughout the grinding process, when we're letting it cool, he's taking time to measure it. Our goal is about 1.64 with the bench grinder. So we're about 1.659 about. So he's got a little bit more ways to go before we're gonna fine tune sand it on the drill press. So we just about finished on the bench grinder. Got it to about 1.64. Roughly, that's what we're going for. We when we had it hotter, it was reading 1.4 or sorry, 1.647. Now you can see it's coming down a little bit as it cools, but that's just roughly where we're going to get the bulk of the metal off. So this is what it should roughly look like after the bench grinder. See how there's no big flat spots. Everything's still pretty smooth and round. Now we're moving over to the drill press with this sanding adapter. I mean, you can pick them up at Harbor Freight. The Lowe's might have them. We'll show you what we got here after. But that's what we're gonna sand down to get the final measurement. This is the drum sanding kit we used. I mean, can't say it's the best thing, but it gets the job done. You can find it at Harbor Freight. I mean, if you find something similar at your local hardware store or Lowe's, you could use that as well. First, he's kind of taking that burr off just to dull it down a little bit because it was a little sharp after using the um, bench grinder. But we just got it put down here, just a scrap piece of wood as a good rest, just to put, put it close to make it easier than freehanding it. Now you can see he just puts it on its side. And just feeds it into the sander. Using my hands as a jig, you know what I mean? Because it'll want to turn it and pull it. Yep. So you just uh, kind of holding it stationary. And I look at the sides of it. All right, 
Got her about 1.64, anywhere between 1.642 is kind of like our goal. That's not exact, but it should fit in the spot we're trying to get it in. Yeah, first we remove the clamp screw. Now we already spread our jaws a little bit, but basically you take a flathead screwdriver, just kind of open it up. This will allow for it to fit in nicely. Just check your work here. Should be able to screw on and off. It's easier to put it back on the tool. Put it back on the tool. Remember it's left-handed thread, so if you're turning it right, not getting it on there, that's why. Now, if it's too snug and not screwing in, just Sand take it back. Yep, take it back to the drill press and keep sanding. And then, obviously, you just put that set screw and tighten her up. There you go. Easy. And when you're putting everything back together, just make sure that metal piece still is fully greased. If it's not, you could add a little bit extra in there. Yes. You kind of see what the inside looks like. And then we're just putting her back together. And that's what it should look like. Should be nice and smooth, kind of polished. So you take the battery Dewalt screwdriver gun and make it fit on the OMG AccuTrack Rhino Bond applicator now if you did have a lathe obviously this process would be a little bit faster and easier and you could get it a lot more precise but that's how you would do it with some hand tools